Six notes. That's all we're going to be talking about for the next few minutes. You may be asking yourself, how can you talk about just six notes for that long? Well, herein lies the problem I'm seeing with so many of my drum students, and it's rooted in the concept of half learning. We gloss over things because they look easy, or maybe we've mastered the basics of the concept, or maybe we got a little bored with the topic. And we move on to new material before we see that concept show up in our playing naturally. It's a total waste of time when we do this. So let's get back to those six notes. How do they go from six simple notes to something more complex, like this? Glad you asked. Let's think of these six notes as a framework, a rhythmic skeleton to build on, if you will. We can start by playing the 16th notes in between our six accented notes to outline the rhythm. Even this simple rhythm can be used as a more interesting drum fill. Or, like I just played and you may not have noticed, it can be used for the bass drum pattern to a groove. I'm getting excited and getting ahead of myself though already applying it to grooves. We're not done with what we've currently building. What if we replace those 16th notes in between the six accented notes with some double stroke rolls? Still using the same six notes, but now they've turned into five stroke rolls and other roll variations. When I'm going through this system, I'm always thinking, what is the next most logical step I can take? Small moves create massive changes over time. Like maybe putting some bass drum with those accented six notes with rolls in between to give them some more weight. Now we can take that concept to this drum set. Put the accents on the toms to make some different melodies. How about adding the cymbals now? Now just mix it all up and have fun. And some of you might be thinking, okay, well, that's a wrap then. Not so fast. We're not even close to being done with these six notes. Diving deeper, let's make each one of the accented six notes two single stroke 32nd notes now. Sound familiar? We've turned them into hertas, you know, the pattern that the bass drum is playing in Meshuggah's song Bleed. How about moving one of those hands to a tom? Let's use that as a drum fill. It's still just those same six notes. We're just systematically building on them. Since we took the six accented notes to 32nd notes, why not take all of the notes in between those notes to 30 seconds as well? Put that on the drum kit and it starts getting pretty fun. Back to those original six notes. Let's dig into our creativity a bit more and find some other options. What if I decided, hey, those might sound cool played as flams. We could play them alternating or single-handed. Throw the 16th notes back in between the six accented flams. Let's start moving those around the toms. Maybe even add some cymbals. By the way, all of these methods and about 60 more are taught in my new course, The Art of Drumming Independence. Registration is only open for the next few days. I would love to have you come take a deep dive with me. You can find the link in the video description. We're not done with these six notes though. We added those six notes on the bass drum to make a drum beat earlier. But what if we explored the groove side of this pattern as well? We haven't even really touched that yet. Okay, hmm, what can we do? I've got it. Let's play that same bass drum pattern, but fill in all of the 16th notes as ghosted snare notes. Now add a two and four backbeat on the snare too. Or maybe take those ghost notes away and play all of the 16th notes in between those six notes on the hi-hat. Wait, I missed something. That's the thing when we dive deep. We often realize we missed some things and may have to go back to work on them. Let's go back to filling in ghosted 16ths on the snare in between each bass drum note. What if we added an accent only on the first ghosted 16th note after each of the six bass drum notes? Sound a little confusing? It's easier if I just play it for you. Let's move the pattern to the right symbol and play two and four on the snare again. Oh, maybe now act like Carter Beaufort and play the pattern on the hi-hat with the other hand on the ride while keeping two and four going on the snare. How about an aggressive tom pattern by using those six notes as unison hand hits with the bass drum filling in between? Here's the thing I'm trying to get at. If we will slow down and spend more time on one small topic, taking it as deep as possible until we integrate it with the rest of our playing, well, as you can see, possibilities are pretty endless. The funny thing is, we are always afraid of wasting our time. But if you want to truly waste your time, abandon the topic you're working on before it's showing up in your playing, when it's only half learned. All of those hours you worked on the material, and then you quit. That's like scaling a mountain only to quit steps from the peak. It's a true waste of time because we will never be able to use that material. We never made it to the top of the mountain. 
Or you can decide to take a deep dive and begin to apply the material more like this. In the end, the choice is yours. You can continue staying in the shallows, or you can dive deep, like so deep you're considering marrying a mermaid, and really see your drumming explode. It's just six notes. Or is it? The question is, are you up for the challenge? Hey man, brought you some tea. Thanks.